You know what to do. Go in there, pawn this Picasso, and don't take anything less than money for it. Right. Good money. Good morning. I want to borrow some money. What a terrible money it is. Not here. Oh. Wrong shop? Wrong country. But I was told this is a high-class pawn shop. How much did you want? How much will you give me for this Picasso? Picasso? What's it called? It's called Cow Grazing on Hill. I can see the hill, but where's the cow? She's on the other side of the hill. Listen. Daisy. <laughs> You see? Oh, tell lifelike. I'll give you 20 shillings. Good. I'll take it in pound notes. Right. What? A pound? That picture's worth thousands. If that's his best offer, go and get the picture back. Right. Good work, Neddy. Now we must just check that it hasn't been tempered with. Daisy? 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 She's gone. What, 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 what? But where? How? Milk, milk, oh, get a lovely Picasso milk here. Milk is good for the power of the brain, you know. Drink some and see. Okay. Mmm. Mmm, my brain is stronger already. Right, I'll ask you a difficult type question then. What is a jailbreak? It's a break used for stopping jails. Right. Wrong. Um, a jailbreak has nothing to do with this week's program, which is entitled... This is the story of a desperate man in prison. Yes, it was me. I was a governor. Prison governor speaking. This is uh, the superintendent of jails here. What can I do for you? You can open the door and let me in. Right. Good morning, superintendent. Hey, you are stuck, taken. How many prisoners have you got in? Well, uh, let me see. Hell, Jim, the crazy vicar. Aye. Oh, oh no, he's escaped. There's me, thanks, George. Oh, no, 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 he, he bought himself out. Then there's that confidence trickster. No, no, he became an MP. Let me see. Number 34128 was released. Fred was transferred. <laughs> you know, I do believe we've run completely out of them. Do you know what this means, Sigrun? Yes, we're empty. Get this prison filled up with convicts, or you're fired. Fired? Fired. Pronounced. All very well for him to talk, but nobody's committing any crimes. Where am I to get convicts? It's the front door. Coming! May I come in? Have you committed any crimes? I'm afraid not. Then you can't come in. Take your hat off. Now. Mm. Oh. Come in. Allow us to introduce ourselves. My card. But it's blank. Business is bad, you know. That's funny, so is mine. I haven't got a convict in the place. Perhaps we can help you, Neddy. For a consideration. Moriarty, explain our plan. Set them all. We will guarantee you a constant supply of convicts at a reduced summer rate of three shillings per nut. Three shillings, eh? You're on. When do they come in? Open that door. Yeah. 
And I don't want a single one of you to feel you're not wanted. What do you mean, not wanted? These men are wanted everywhere. Who the devil wants this lot? The priest. Oh, well, they're safe here. All right, off to yourselves now. And don't forget, listen with mother at 2.30. All right. Yes, once again, Dartmoor Prison was chock full as of old, and the prison yard rang to the happy sound of rock breaking, mailbag sewing, warder bashing. Stop eating for good. As governor, I was receiving congratulations from every corner of the circular globe. Good luck, Sigun. A full prison is a happy one, signed Home Secretary. P.S. How would you like to be a peer? A peer? Moriarty! I've just made myself a peer. Good. I'll get down the end of it and start a concert party. Come back. Is that that kind of peer? What? P-double-E-R, not P-I-E-R. Good heavens. He's fallen in the water. Yes. You're a very short peer, Neddy. Entry in prison diary. Convict Brit... Try again, Neddy. Thank you. Entry in prison diary. Convict Brit Pipeson made a strange request today. Neddy. Neddy, may I have a strange request? Of course. I'll do it at once. Never mind, I'll smoke one of my own. Neddy, the prisoners are getting restless. What they need is a holiday. Holiday? Where? They all had their hearts set on the south of France, or as they say, the Sud de Fridge. But I can't let them out of prison. Of course not, Neddy. We'll take the prison with us. You can't move the prison. People will talk. Neddy. We are going to leave a cardboard replica. Oh, I see. Oh, yes. But where are we going to stay in France? I have made arrangements with one of the French governments for our prison to be the guest of the Chateau d'If, the historic Gallic penitentiary. It all sounds very attractive. <laughs> I'll agree to it. Good. Then unchain our visas and we shall be off. Get up there. Hell castles. Cheval de floor. February the 2nd, at sea. Coast of France visible through the bars of F-Block. <laughs> Good morning, Captain Seagull and them. But, but, wait a minute. You're not one of my convicts. No, I'm, uh, I'm a stairway. Well, you have to get off. Stop the prison! Well, don't stop on account of me. I'm not complaining, you see. I'm... Mm. But we're full up. We've got a maximum complement of convicts. 2,183. 2,182. One was drowned this morning. Drowned? How? Poor lad, he... Tried to tunnel his way out. Fool. Very well. You can have his cell. That'll be three shillings. Thank you. I wonder why this man wants to join our prison. Little does he know that I have reason to believe that the Chateau d'If contains the clue to the treasure of the Count of Monte Cristo. You limbum biddle boo. Little does blood not know that I also know that the Chateau d'If contains clue to the treasure. Little do either of these Charlies know that I plan this whole move to bring our prison into contact with the Chateau d'If precisely to obtain the clue to the aforementioned treasure. Little do they know. Little do they know? How little I know about the littles that they know. If only I knew about the littles that they know, I'd know a little. I'd have to keep my little ears open, you know. The Lord the Lord. <laughs> Ah, Monsieur les prisonniers anglais, soyez bienvenus. Welcome to the Chateau d'If. And so began our happy stay at the Chateau d'If. By evening, each Dartmoor convict had dismantled his old cell, carried the bricks into the chateau, wrapped in brown paper, and labeled accordingly, and taken a red wine shower. But even as the merrymaking reached its height, down in the deepest dungeon of the Chateau d'If, two figures were at work. Hey, ah! 
Agatha Christie, look. Own black box. I'll just lift it out and unroll it. Uh huh. Just as I anticipated. What? I don't know what it is. Ah! It's an old long playing wax cylinder gramophone record. And here is an old long playing wax gramophone. Hell luck! Now we can dance. I'm so sorry. I've promised the next dance to Convict 329748. But he's in solitary. Then he'll have to dance by himself, won't he? Now then, play the wax type record, Mariotte. This record is a call to the treasure of Monte Cristo. Go to the prison yard where you will find wrapped up in brown paper parcels another prison. Reassemble it and you'll find the treasure buried under the floor of cell number 626 in the basement. Come on, Mariotti. Quick, Pipe! Dreadful news! Our holiday is over. Someone stole it on the bricks of our prison. Sapristi! We're homeless! Yes, and someone's found out about the treasure. Who's hiding our prison? Hands up all those who know anything about this! Me and Eckers know where it's gone, Captain. Oh, uh, we know. Splendid, lads. Tell me where it is and I'll reduce your sentences from two years to four. Well, it went, um, think. Where did it went? It went it. Eckers, do you remember Eckers? Oh, yeah, oh, I remember Eckers. Well, does he know where it went it? I'll ask him. Well, you know where it went. What does he say, Eckers? Nothing. I think he's out. Curse. But bad luck. We'll have to give chase in the Chateau Deef. All hands on it! Castle! All steam ahead! Who's in on the starboard cow? Bow your book. Bow your book. Yes, it is. Ah, and look at the flag. It's flying the skull and the crossbones. Run. It's a photograph of David Nixon with his arms folded. Oh, they're gaining on me. Curse these French. Much speedier than ours. Open fire. Is a cannonball coming? Right. I'll see you after the ball is over. Ah. I must return his fire. Yes, we've had it all winter. Oh, this cannonball. All right, Echoes, fire! Fire! Here, oh, 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 Just the man I want. Take a message to the Chateau d'If. Tell them I'll never surrender. But there are two more, do I? I can't scream all that. Never mind, leave it to me. Yeah, but I just... They can't unload their separate idiots on me. <laughs> Come, Mariotti, while they're all occupied, remember the treasure is under the floor of cell number 626. Ah, here it is! Together. Heave! Ah. Wait! Ah, it's water. Salt water. Let me taste it. All right, it's the Atlantic Ocean. Where it's Where it's There's more coming in. Stop, you fool. We're sinking. Right. Help, 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 help. And that, O oh best beloved, is how Her Majesty's prison Dartmoor, founded in the Atlantic Ocean. And why the Dartmoor we know today is only a cardboard replica. Thank you.